Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make, well, how to get the spring on here. Um, this is very sketchy, but we got it on there. And uh, I guess my two cents would be uh, probably buy a different spring compressor than what I bought. Um, but we got it on there and it only marred it up a little bit. Um, looks like it kind of got a little bit of the threads, but it's the price you got to pay because that's the way it is. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how. Uh, we're even doing it live, so if I die, they can call the police. Um, and uh, I also have my GoPro over there, so that's what you guys will be watching. So let's do that. Okay, so say you have one of these. This is a QA1 US 303 um, with like the, I don't even know, I think it's like 16 point or some bull crap adjustable. Um, so before you assemble it, you should probably use some sort of um, anti-seize. Um, usually they say like on the whole thing, I think. I'm going to be just putting it down at the bottom. But because that's where the spring is going to sit, way at the bottom. Uh, but yeah, so put some of this on and then put your collars on. Um, and then they say with these collars, let me pull it out of the bag. All right, so if you look at these... So like this one's flat, and then this one has that like little raised thing. So you're gonna want that to be in contact with this, because if you put it on backwards, that's gonna lock up like a motherfucker, and you're never getting it undone. So make sure you do that. And then you also have this, well you might, but it also has this like washer. I think it prevents that from binding, so this guy will spin on here. So make sure you put that on as well before you put the spring on. So let's do the anti-seize and get these on. Okay, so we got it down there, washer's on. And then also make sure you pull, if you have one of these shock absorbers, make sure you pull this down uh, because then it would make, if you don't have it, once you get that spring compressed, it's gonna make it really impossible to get this thing to slide in. So, and basically our goal is we're gonna slide it in. If I can do this one-handed, that'd be great. And then it'll sit like that. So, let's do this. All right, waste no time and get it compressed. And then you just gotta slide this guy in there. It's gonna be a real tight fit, which I'm probably gonna need both my hands for. Come on, here we go. So yeah, get that in there. And now you gotta slowly take it apart. So let's do that. All right, there they are, looking fancy. Um, so yeah, that's how you use, uh, so if you get like these double claws, what I ended up doing was just using one hook. You gotta slide the spring on first, and you slide the spring on first, and then crunch her down. Um, if you can, get like just the single ones. They're a little sketchier, but at least they'll work, because obviously this was a sacrifice that had to be, well, that's just water on that one. Um, yeah, right there. You can see it got marred up. Which I don't care. It's fine. I do care, but it's fine. Um, eventually these will get upgraded anyhow. I like to get the dual adjustables. These are just a single. So they have a set um, compression. They don't have, but they have the adjustable rebound. So that's fine. But eventually I would like to get the double adjustable. Um, 
so yeah now what I'm gonna work on doing is getting uh, these these guys in um, I do not have the C clip so or like the because it has shirt clips or whatever the hell they're called um, let's see here yeah these guys whatever these are called I think they're shirt clips or something like that I don't have the tool I want to go buy one and this has like really tiny holes and the one there didn't go that low so we're just gonna have to do it by hand so let's do that all right well so I have the these bearings here the EMB 8102 PK um, and then I'm putting in these shirt, shirt clips if you don't have the tool I'm gonna show you how I've been doing it utilizing basically just a little flathead screwdriver so I'm gonna show you how to do that Alright, well, there it is, guys. That's how you put the springs on, and then you can also, and then how to put those uh, bushings and the sur, clap, sur clips in. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, so you know the drill, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.